Good time music at first, like I said before, like with Little Richard, Chuck Berry, and uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, and you know, even going down the line, that was pressing so. But then, like, uh, there's a lot of drugs that's dipped into it from some of the fact that rock musicians think different than other people, they live different than other people, so therefore they have different releases than other people. It's up to them themselves not to make it to escape, and some of this is seeped in through. I think some of the people that were on drugs, some of the regular people, you know, or like, uh, like I said, some of the music seeped in, some of the, uh, you know, the drug scenes seeped in from the music. And so therefore, they, they felt it was a little better to uh, do these uh, things, you know, like going into a LSD or what have you, you know. <laughs> and so, but like it's settling down properly. And the whole idea in the first place for all these drugs and all the music and all the hangups is because of like everybody wants to be um, their own identification in some way, for, you know. And some people couldn't find this in trying to um, talk to the parents or the so-called other generation, you know, because they have a way of uh, overprotecting their people so much as where they put them in boxes, you know, and they put themselves in boxes, and that's not a right way of living. Because younger people, their minds are a little more keener, and they can figure this out. So therefore, since they can't get release and respect from the older people, then they go into these other things. And the music gets louder and it gets rebellious because it's starting to form a religion, you know. 